Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. This video is a very special sponsored video for a mobile game called Rocky Tower Puzzle TD. What does what is, what is TD mean? Well, it's Tower Defense. Of course it is. This is a very kind of like new twist on the genre and thank you to developers for sponsoring this particular video. And this is what the game looks like. Now, I've already played like a good chunk on my iPad, but it's more of a I'd say portable game on mobile because like here's the thing you, you kind of like want to be on the subway and kind of playing this or you want to be taking your mobile like a lot more freely than you want to take anything like this like a big chunky iPad you, you, you don't really want to be kind of like taking that with you so you want to be taking like your mobile and make it completely portable so that's kind of like one thing that kind of goes in its favor it is available on iPad I just think from a portable sense you can go around anywhere like say you kind of want to kill some time you know you're in a hotel say you're on the school bus say that you're like anywhere and the great thing about this is you don't need the internet in order to to play it you can just have it there on your device because there's so many different types of levels to it as i said it's kind of like it's kind of like jenga in that you um you kind of like you click one of the different types of characters in your bottom element of uh, the bottom of the screen god to get your words out rigid uh, and then you kind of like strategically try and remove some of the blocks that's what we're going to try and do is get through the various different types of ones so let's kind of go now um that may be in a bad decision there because what i've done is i've taken away the support and if you're familiar with jenga just going to reiterate it's like that it's a very kind of like uh simple but it's a new kind of like twist and also incredibly uh, fun at the same time. So you've got your characters on the top there, uh, but what we want to do is, again, strategically remove, and I shouldn't have maybe kind of like done it that way, where I'm, lo well, I, I think actually I'm doing fine, because I'm removing, I'm still keeping the central supports right there of the yellow and the green, uh, but I'm kind of removing the reds and the blues as a priority. Now, I don't want to remove the yellows, but there may be a way to kind of like help out with removing stuff with these kind of gray tiles here if i click red and i get one of those then those those supports from the two grays are going to be quite uh, quintessential to um to stuff like that's a bit disappointing i was hoping when i click green i would uh, be able to remove some of the lower ones that were kind of like in the, the downward bit there sadly not uh this as my blues go over there's a sudden gust of wind, I think, of just kind of like, uh, just done some stuff there. That's, that's not good. Um, but at least I can just click red here as my, oh my god, they are teetering right there. Especially as I, I remove that. My, my goal is to make sure that these, uh, the little characters in the bottom left hand corner are kind of go from one side to the other. Uh, by the way, if you haven't realised as well, the live play of what is, uh, is fed is, is right there as well. So it is, um, it is a lot of fun doing doing this game because I'm like, I, I'm a bit of a weirdo and I'm like, I really kind of like thinking about, I want to tip, tip over this just to see what happens. I think that's always a fun thing. But this has actually been a weird bit of an advantage to me because of that teetering. Because that teetering right now is they're in place. So I've been able to kind of get through to the next level uh, quite Fortunately, I will use that ter term fortunately because uh, that is um, that <laughs> I got very, very lucky. Okay, a bit of a weird. I don't think I've ever had it where the colors have been in that kind of way, but it's good because then I can just go if I remove that one there and certain types of blocks you remove, you can strategically keep the structural integrity. That's going to be the word, the two words that you're going to hear uh, in uh, a lot from me structural integrity. And that's where you can like go, okay, well, if I'd remove that, um, you know, that's going to still keep it. Well, I got lucky there, to be honest. But if I take away that one, I think it is, it still keeps its structural integrity. If I click red, oh, yes, that's good. It still keeps its structural integrity. Let's supercharge. And we'll supercharge, I want to say r blue. Uh, and then we go red, remove that one. Again, we're still keeping structural integrity, uh, th but this could go south very quickly. Again, we remove that little block there because it didn't ruin our structural integrity. Uh, but as I said, I really want to, I think in the next one, I might want to try and topple over. Uh, if I remove that one, is that going to, I'm going to give it a go. Yes, structural integrity. This is just, this, it's cool because it's like Jenga. It means that like, you know, if you do this really quickly, you can really focus on, on being a bit of a smart ass. 
with uh, with with it. Um, I think I've made a boo boo right here. And if I remove this one, it's going to topple everything. Or if I remove that one, it's kind of like, yeah, I think I've removed that one. Yes. See, I'm using a bit of big brain for once. That makes a change. But on a plus side, if I do red on there, supercharge that. Um, what do I want to do? If I go there, good. And I could just do yellows. I could just like ride my yellow removal because it's not going to remove any of the structural integrity. Unless unless it points that I've got to remove this kind of like one that's just below the blues, that is probably going to mean that I... That's probably going to mean like everything's going to topple over. As I said, I do want to do like a particular... I want to get all my kind of little, little, little creatures there over to the right hand corner through the portal to safety. But it's a risk. Um, yellows. More on yellows, please. That's good. And then ride the yellows to victory. Just as simple as that. Love it. I love when a plan comes together quite like that. Uh, and you four stars to get unlock another hero. So let's have a quick look at other parts of the game. It's in the shop. We've got uh, offers, which we can buy with some of the coins. Uh, I want to say that the um, uh, this is the premium item right here. These kind of gems are the premium. Yeah, gems are the premium. And then we've got heroes. And as we kind of go through, we can upgrade our heroes. So various different places. We've got vents on. This is good. Oh. I'll play one of the events. And for what I gather, this is this game has recently been released, so uh, there's I can imagine lots more to come. This looks like there's a huge amount more um, with this. Like a huge amount more of um, squares. But oh it's randomly chosen. Oh, interesting. So it's a, oh that's that is very interesting. So you take a bit of um, what seems to be pot luck with it, and I guess that's the, that's the thing, isn't it? Take, keep instruction integrity, but unfortunately, um, it can mean if your heroes aren't strong enough, they're going to be knocked out very quickly. I, I do want to topple, by the way. So look at that. That's how you lose in a very short space of time, but. Um, I guess I need more powerful heroes in order to kind of keep them alive. The uh, longer they're alive, then the more they're going to be helpful, especially with here, where they have uh, double charge, you know, health, like a large amount of health as well at the same time. So that they need work. But let's continue on with uh, the various different types of levels. There's plenty of levels for you to, uh, to go over and work towards. So let's go. I don't know if that was a good decision. But at least you've seen a topple, because I do want to. I do want to play this to kind of like actually kind of win, like I would like to win. Although I'm kind of like playing this a bit risky, a bit risque. Uh, that that was very risk. That was very risque. Uh, can I remove one of these blocks here to kind of like counterbalance? Yes, that was good. So see from the jaws of defeat, uh, there's also a victory. Um, I have noticed here. Maybe I need to kind of I need I need to remove a red. Like if I remove that down, is that gonna? If I do that, oh, very risky. Uh, I kind of feel like if I get, well, no, these are fine because they're below that grey tile. That's right there in the kind of like um, midway point to the right. But ah, that's good. I did want to remove that because it. Ooh, yes. See. That's what I'm talking about. Counterbalancing back and uh, getting a, a, a small W there. These are good because these aren't part of the load bearing. But if I remove, if I remove, have to remove that red one, I am not going to be in a good place. That red one is probably going to ruin me. Uh, do I go blue? I don't go green, yellow. If I remove any yellows, I might be in trouble. The green ones, I'm going to take a risk on green to be honest. Yes, that's good. It, that was good because it came up with the ones that are below that grey tile. That's the load-bearing tile. And I got lucky again. I don't know how further I'm going to get lucky with this. Blues. Good. That's one below the grey tile. A load-bearing one. Uh, I'm referring to load-bearing, but um, I, I assume it's that. Anything now I remove is tricky. This is just like Jenga in that uh, if I remove a yellow one... Let's give yellow... A, 
Can I? I can't. You, you, my yellow's been knocked out. So that means that because my yellow here has been knocked out, I can't use that one. And that's a problem because I need to think about what I'm what I'm removing now. Removing a blue might have to be the way to go. That's good because I get to remove that one. And we need to supercharge. I don't need to supercharge, but I would like to supercharge that one. Um, and red. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. I, that was so risky. That was like a last ditch attempt. It was incredibly risky. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, I need one star to get the other hero. Good. So let's move on to level four. And I guess it's like watching an advert. You can power up. That's nice. It's good. Love when games do that. You know, support games that do this. It helps out the developer. Right. Okay, let's move on. And green. Drop all that down. Green again. Drop that down. That was good. I think we'll go red. That was good because I didn't. Everything didn't collapse. That's good. Again, need to kind of look into those load-bearing grey tiles, which we only have one this time. And yellow wise, oh no, that's going to topple. That's not going to topple though. And maybe that's the way to go. Like I create two areas to create a, like a load-bearing kind of st structural integrity. Uh, I think that is definitely the word. I have to put it in the title. Structural integrity. Blues. I don't want to really use blues if I can. Reds. That's good. But my red... No, my red. One's been, just been knocked out. This is where the difficulty comes. I guess further down the line, if your heroes are knocked out, then you won't get access to a colour. Not having access to blue is actually pretty good for me because that is actually a lo lo lot of load bearing. So I need to be very careful about other ones I choose. But I don't have to worry quite so much. Although I say that. Okay, that was that was kind of like that was risky. Very risky. Because that top one there, top left, is teetering quite extensively. Now green. Oh, that's good because that comes the central part. And yellow. That's... I don't think that's load-bearing. That's definitely not load... Well, I say that, and it is kind of like... We got some teetering right here. Oh, mate. I... Oh, ah, uh, yes. Good. That's been removed. That's safe. Yellow. Um, That's a safe one there. And then yellow again. That one? That one's not load-bearing. That could come back to bite me if things don't turn out the way that I would like them. Green. Oh, do I take a risk? Part? No, I can't take a Um, I think... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, something... Oh, good. Okay, that is good. That is a risk. That's a risk. But I think that risk just paid off. Yellow. Um, yep, yeah, that's good. That'll be fine to remove. And supercharge my yellow. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Um, you remove that one. I was getting so close now. I, I could I could literally knock them out. Uh, yeah, I think if I remove that one, I think I've done it. Yes. That was pretty good. That was, pr I want to say it's pretty difficult, but like they're going to get more difficult as you go further and further along, along, along. Um, but that, that was that was risky. I felt like everything was going to like topple over um, in a moment. That was going to be quite uh, quite the scary endeavor. I'm also moving around some heroes in the placement of where they are uh, for the tower defense, so that when we kind of like come into the particular area, it says the risk of them being hit. So you kind of like replace like where stuff is on there with your heroes right at the very top as to how many times the void, the, the two things at the top left hand corner and right hand corner uh, are going to attack. So that's kind of like uh, important to mention as well. Uh, so let's go. Let's um, let's try and first of all not topple and also think strategically about what I'm going to remove. I say that but kind of like uh, the, the person is like, okay, let's, let's for the video just showcase a complete topple over. But let's go. Let's kind of like... This seems fine. I mean, that's central to the right. The 
um, first in from the right seems to be quite quite nice to kind of remove because it's like it's not load bearing in any kind of like shape or form. Um, let's kind of go with again same thing. This could be a very kind of like easy um, uh, takeout here. I say that, but there may be problems ahead. There may be trouble ahead. As long as I get that central one that I'm removing now, I should be absolutely fine. Let's go red this time and remove that side there. As long as I get to do that, that's good. Again, same thing, same principle right there with uh, with stuff. I might want to use as much... Maybe that's the thing of using... Because the yellow and the red are both like the ones that get hit by the void the most. Those are maybe the ones I need to focus on to kind of recharge quicker. Uh, just to help out the um, situation. Uh, that's fine to be removed because that's not load bearing. And can we remove a blue? That's not load bearing. That's oh 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 oh. That was an iffy takeout right there. Oh man, uh, yellow. Oh, no, that's load bearing. If I take out and can I recharge blue as? Oh no, yes. I was, well, kind of. Like, I don't really want to risk this. Because I kind of feel like something's going to be attacking me soon. But I've got three more to go. So I need to go yellow. Mm, no, this... No, that one, that, that's... I'm fine, I'm fine. Blue's knocked out, which is not grey. Greens. This is where things all go wrong. Reds. Good. It's red one there. Okay, I need... There we go, did it. Hey, I like it when that happens. I do like it when that happens. So that's good. Keeping a four-star rating as I go through from start to uh, to level five. Great. That, is, that has been that. It's been a lot of fun to kind of like, again, use your mind as well. Like strategically think about what is going to be the next, uh, the next thing, the next drop. You know, if you like Jenga, then I think you're really going to like this game. If you like your uh, tower defense, especially as you kind of like further you go on, you're able to kind of improve things when it comes to the power of your team and dealing with some of those uh, those voids and also collecting new heroes to have uh, different improved stats and things for you. So, uh, so yeah, that has been the game. Go and check it out in the link in the description uh, down below. That was Rocky Towers and uh, keep toppling people. And thanks to the developer for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.